akaingia ndani alafu akanivuta huko ndani ya nyumba yake Cases of defilement have continued to be reported in Nakuru County. <laughs> Some cases, these victims have been left for the dead. Na kwa hakika mimi nasema anga sijapumzisha mtoto wangu, maana sijuangi nini litendeka na nini imeendelea. There's nothing torturing like somebody who, 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 who raped your child or yourself. And every morning you see that person. At the age of 16, Kate, not her real name, has had to put away her books and become a mother. This was not by choice but as a result of being defiled by her teacher. Nilikuwa mwezi wa 7. Head teacher alipata mgeni na akanambia nimwachie ufunguo. Ikiwa ni 6 hivyo mamangu akanituma maziwa. Nikienda huko maziwa, huyo head teacher anaishi hapo karibu na maziwa. Nikampata amesimama karibu na lango kuu, akanita. Alafu akanambia niende nichukue ufunguo. Little did she know that her own teacher would prey on her. Nikaenda nikasimama ka kwa nje ya mlango si kuingia ndani kwa kanivuta huko ndani ya nyumba yake. Nikasimama hapo kando ya kitanda, kaanza kuniguza guza, akiniambia nitoe nguo zangu, akanitoa mavazi yangu na tukaanza kufanya sex, tulisumbuana karibu 30 minutes. Two months after the heinous act was done on her. Kate realized she was pregnant. Kafika mezua mezua tisa sikuona period mwezi wa 10 sikuona nilikuwa nadhani ni ile hali ya ku miss period lakini mwezi wa 11 nilikuja kukundua mimi pregnant. Alafu sikumwambia mzazi wangu to conceal this Kate convinced her mother to allow her visit her aunt in Nairobi after sitting for her Kenya certificate of primary education exam in November 2022 she would return the following year in April almost due now unable to hide it Kate revealed to her mother Stella not her real name who was responsible for the pregnancy mwezi wa 5 nikamuuliza kwa nini ulinificha kwa nini ulinificha tumbo ni nani akanyamaza nikamuuliza tena kwa nini ulinyamaza ebu 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 niambie wacha uoga niambie akaniambia mam wacha nikuambie tupo ni ya head teacher nikastuka according to kate her reason of keeping the defilement a secret was fueled by the threats from her teacher siku nataka kumwambia juu kulingana na vile tulikuwa tumekaa shuleni na yeye alikuwa ananitishia alikuwa anakuja ananichapa maybe ameniambia tupatane jioni na siku enda anakuja ananichapa angry and hurt stella began the relentless pursuit for justice this included three trips to the police station and one to the nakuru level 5 hospital however on may 4th kate delivered her baby the birth of the child came in with increasing interest from people known and unknown to Stella all asking her to drop the matter to alipeo mtoto saa moja tarehe 4 tulikaa siku kama siku 2 hivi wa wakubwa wa wa shule huko kwangu wakadika story yangu na story ya ya, ya mtoto Fearing for her child's safety, Stella contacted the child's protection officer who arrived and shipped Kate to a safe house. Wakatuambia eh atutakuachia huyu mtoto. Wacha tuende na yeye. Mtoto atakuwa safe. Nika mimi nika mimi nikawa nguso mtoto akaenda nayo. Na nilifurahi sana kwa sababu walichukua mtoto yangu. Huyu ilipitia mambo mingi. Between May and November, Stella says she was enticed by various goodies in exchange for her silence. 
while other people ask her to give the newborn baby to them. Kuna mama walikuwa wanatumwa. Watu wakuje wachukue hiyo barua ya mtoto. Waende naye. Kuna mamzee walikuwa na walikuwa wanatumwa. Atini kubali mtoto anunuliwe brot na ajengewe. Nikawambia, nikawambia mtoto alienda mimi sina na jabu lolote ninalofanya wakaenda e, kuna mwingine alikuwa anatumwa atinikubali ni elfu, elfu ine. ili mtoto ape mtoto apewe according to mr cosmas mutua there has been laxity on how this case is being handled family is going through a lot of uh, distress because every time they are calling me that either the police are harassing them to sign some documents, either some people are visiting them to compromise the case, being told even to drop the case, there has been a lot of laxity for this case to be taken to court because uh, since we rescued the girl with the baby, it has taken too long, the baby is almost going to seven months and uh, nothing seems to be happening. His sentiments are echoed by the Nakuru County Gender Chief Officer who points a finger at the prosecution. But up to now we have not gotten justice because the case, okay, we, we tried and uh, the head teacher was, uh, was, uh, was put in custody. But then the case almost terminated immediately because the ODPP took up the case and they, they promised us they were, they were going to fix a date for the, the, the court hearing of this case. And that one has been pending since May this year. So one time after we felt that uh, justice was not being uh, given as it's supposed to be, we stormed in that office. We actually went to see what happened. And to our uh, root shock, the ODPP, Nakuru County or Nakuru region, actually became so uncooperative and even ordered us out of his office saying we are we, are, we, we, we don't deserve to follow up on that case because we are nobody in the case. Nakuru has been one of the counties that uh, has high cases of uh, sexual gender-based violence. What we've noted over time there have been uh, data inaccuracy in terms of reporting but when you go like to our quarterly meeting the reporting rate from children department is very low. We find just a few defilement cases when you go to the police, there are quite a number that are reported and also at the chief's offices. But the challenge has been uh, most of those cases do not see the light at the end of the day. They are normally sorted at the lower level, level that they should, be, should not be sorted. Risa Wangari, words failed to explain the pain she's in after her child was defiled and murdered in September this year. Ikiwa uh, date 19, mwezi wa tisa, mtoto wangu wakitoka shule, hakufika nyumbani. Na wakati ilifika masaya ya, ku, ya mtoto kufika kwa bomba, hakufika, anafikanga five, na ikafika five, ajafika kwa bomba, Ni kaona masa imeenda sana na nikaenda kumtafuta. Wakati nilienda kumtafuta nikapita kwa barabara yenye huwa napita na siku mpata mtoto wangu. <laughs> nika mtafuta na nikapiga simu kwa shule. Nikonfamiwa kama mtoto wangu alibaki shule wakaniambia mtoto wangu ayuko shule kwa hivyo mtoto wangu alikuja nyumbani nika confirm kwa watoto wa shule kwa stage yenye kufikishwa na basi wakasema mtoto alishuka na kapanda kwa leli kaka kawaida akaenda nyumbani nikajua mtoto wangu alipotea 
She painfully narrates how she found out about the death of her firstborn child. Ikielekea kitu saa tatu ndio nikaambua mtoto wangu amepatikana na yuko amerepiwa na ameuawa. <laughs> to Teresa, the search for the perpetrators of this gory act has taken too long. Justice ya mtoto wangu ijaipatikana na na maybe i justice ya mtoto wangu inakosa kupatikana maana maybe mimi ni maskini kama Jasmine angekuwa mtoto wa tajiri nina hakika wangekuwa washajua nani ameua Jasmine na ni nini iliendelea na ni nani the killers of Jasmine have not been uh, apprehended they are still at large so you wonder where what society are we where are we it is really puzzling to imagine that we are in a, in a Kenya today that things are just happening and the killers run away from it and innocent children suffer although they have never met the two mothers are joined by pain their unanimous call is that justice for their children is found taka kia mtoto ipatikane kwa sababu mimi nafikia ma challenges ningeomba serikali wanisaidie nipate justice ya mtoto wangu na kwa hakika mimi nasemanga sijapumzisha mtoto wangu maana sijuangi nini litendeka na nini imeendelea